slipped through the DNA scanner and entered some kind of computer control center. I walked up to what looked like a central terminal and typed in the word stalemate. Suddenly a command popped up telling me to insert a pass card. You'd gotten into the system. I got out the eight STG pass cards and inserted one into the console. At that point, it asked me for a password which I had to type in. Stalemate sequence initiated. To deactivate Overlord, insert pass cards now. Exit this program immediately, Mr. Murphy. Sorry, Mr. Gideon, I can't do that. You don't understand what you're doing. I am not the enemy. I know, but Overlord is. Then you do not understand its purpose. I think I do. Do you know how close Law and Order came to overtaking your system? <laughs> A calculated risk, my friend. It is the only solution. Well, a lot of innocent people have been killed. I'm just trying to make sure there are no more victims. It is better that some die, rather than allow the entire planet to degenerate into total chaos. No one's got the right to play God. I agree. It's unconscionable. But the fact is, it's done every day, and moreover by people who aspire to nothing more than avarice and domination. What do you imagine stopping me will accomplish? But what do you think you'll accomplish? Overlord is the hope, Mr. Murphy. Oh, with it, I can influence events in the global political arena for good. Good for you, maybe. Good for all those who respect mercy and justice. You've created just a little bit of a monster here, Mr. Gideon. It wouldn't be the first time you lost control of your creation. The Law and Order Party was going to use it for its own purposes. Other groups are going to try, and eventually one of them's going to succeed. This little nightmare of yours has got to be destroyed. <laughs> oh, I pity your blindness and regret that you cannot be reasoned with. Let the match begin. I'm black, right? Oh, I'm afraid not. But, um... You have the first move. Yeah, well, that's good. I found myself looking out over a huge virtual chessboard covered with chessmen. Gideon had said that I was white, which of course had fewer pieces. Some type of 3D interface popped up with a menu of eight possible moves on it. As far as I could tell, Call had programmed it so I'd have to choose the correct sequence of moves in order to checkmate the Black King and deactivate Overlord.
Overlord system deactivated. Checkmate, Mr. Gideon. Your case is finished. I've been saving this to celebrate my success. I suppose I should drink to yours. I shan't be needing it anymore. Find a penny, pick it up. All the day you'll have good luck. See you, Buck. Harley. So, Mr. Tex Murphy, private investigator. Are you ready to take the dive? Depends. What's in it for me? Well, let me give you a little taste. Keep talking. <laughs> well, how about a romantic night in the Caribbean? Or sun-filled days on the beaches of Rio? How about skiing in the Alps? I don't ski. Uh, 
Tati Jaroski, among other things. I'm kind of a white picket fence kids dog kind of guy. We'll talk about that later. Right now, we have the whole world to explore. You know, Sylvia, I've been thinking, a million dollars isn't what it used to be. I think we need to get an investment counselor. <clears throat> well, $850,000. I've already spent $150,000? But that reminds me, I got a little something for you. Hold on. Do this. This is in celebration of solving your first case. Wow. It's a hat. <laughs> All great detectives wear hats. I thought you should have a fedora. I hope you didn't pay too much for it. <laughs> I paid way too much for it. was supposed to have been owned by Humphrey Bogart. I know how much you like him. Here, help me try it on. Mm. Maybe we can put it in a frame or something. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Say thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, Sylvia. Would you like one? Sure, doll. Mm -hmm. Why not? Gideon was probably right. No, he wasn't. You were. Hey, this is not a perfect world, and no one expects it to be. But the most important thing is our freedom. The freedom to make choices for ourselves. And yes, every now and again, maybe the freedom to make an occasional mistake. You are much too critical of yourself. <sighs> it's just that... I guess I'm not used to hanging my heart out on my sleeve. I feel like I'm bleeding all over you. Hey, whose idea was it? It was mine, wasn't to have this talk. And you know what? I appreciate how honest and forthright you've been. Hell, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm sitting here with the world's most wonderful woman, and I haven't been able to make a commitment to you. No, I saved my commitment for women like Sylvia, who caused me nothing but grief. Sonny and Gideon, they were right, because I didn't know anything about life. And I was just getting set up for a big fall, I can tell you that right now. Didn't even take very long with Sylvia. I mean, Sylvia was the only woman that I ever trusted enough with my heart. And not only did she not want it, she punched a hole in it with her high heel as she walked out the door. I am so sorry that you've had to go through all this. And I know how hard this has been for you to, to open up and to talk to me. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling very vulnerable and I feel stark naked. But for some strange reason, I actually feel better. Go figure. Good. <laughs> because I know how hard it is for you manly men to open up to us women. But sometimes it, it helps to share the pain. 
And who knows, maybe it'll get rid of all those nightmares you were telling me about. Yeah, that'd be nice. You're a wonderful woman, did you know that? I know. Right now, we're just very good friends who happen to be attracted to each other. Extremely attracted to each other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, do you remember what you said a few minutes ago about being very attractive? I think the wording was uh, very, very attractive. I have something better for you to do with your mouth. Somebody has stolen our car. Oh. Cannot believe this. Oh, man, I knew it. It was just too good to be true. The best moment of my life, followed by the world's worst. I mean, here I am, my speeder's stolen out here. I'm sitting on a great. Oh, that was hot. It's. Oh. Tex, look, it's gonna be okay. Look, why don't we take a cab home? We'll call the police from home, and then tomorrow we'll call the insurance company. You don't have insurance? Oh. Well, no. I did have insurance, but the fact of the matter was I was never using it, so I kind of let the policy expire. Okay, so maybe the police can help you track it. Oh, yeah, I'm sure the police are going to drop everything for Murphy's missing speeder. Oi! You guys saving that spot or what? Hell no. If you want it, take it. You okay? You know, actually, our, our speeder was just stolen. Mama. Yeah. Hey, what? Uh, would you guys like a lift to the cop shop? No, we'll walk. He's really just trying to do us a favor. Chelsea, I'm getting a really bad feeling about this. It's like some sort of deja vu or something. Oh, come on. I think you're just upset over, over losing the speeder. Look, don't be stubborn right now. You know what? We would really appreciate it, would you? Up in. Thank you very much. Glad to help. Oh, look. His head is even uglier than yours. What's wrong with my hat? It's a shame to lose such a good parking spot. Yeah, well, thanks for reminding me. Sorry, guys. What are you about the speeder? We'll be okay. Hey, thank you very much again for the ride. Pleasure. Glad to help. your mate. Oh, that's Tex. He's having a very bad day. That true, Tex? Oh, no. Everything's just going peachy. Well, things could get worse, huh?
Don't ask questions, I'll tell you no lie. Can't you see the truth is there when you look in my eyes? Such a long story, that's no alibi. I'm stuck here on the ground. to say the gloom is rising I can see in your eyes that you are here to take the time to teach me to fly and I'm trying to try I've got shadows Sun is rising on another day, and once again my heart begins to feel this way. No more shadows, only this place, and the light that seems to shine in your beautiful face. And I'm ready. Trying to try.